it's Monday, happy new week, how are you all? Um, it's bank holiday Monday, which in England means we get the day off, even though like, we're at home anyway. Um, I mean, Stephen gets the day off, I know key workers don't, so lots of love to you. Stephen's having a line, it's quarter to eight. We've all just had Rice Krispies. Let me know your favourite cereal in the comments below. And then Erin said the magic words that any 42-year-old woman wants a nine-year-old daughter to say, which just was, Mummy, shall we watch Million Dollar List in New York? Have I reached the best of parenting? Because it used to be, Mummy, should we watch Peppa Pig? Or Mummy, should we watch Barbie? Or Mummy, should we watch, I don't know, whatever. What was that? Ben and Holly. Ben and Holly. And now... Oh, mummy, shall I watch Million Dollar Listing? Or a TV. Is the dream, because that's all we want. So if you have not watched Million Dollar Listing, it's on Hey You. We get Hey You through Amazon. It's a couple of quid a month, and it has all of the Real Housewives. It has a Below Deck, it has Thousand Charm, and it has Million Dollar Listing, which we are on episode six of season eight. We, we didn't watch the other eight seasons. <laughs> Straight with the new ones. And they're based in New York, and I don't know about you lot, but with the current climate, I am obsessed with watching things in other places that we love. So we've been watching Disney vlogs. <laughs> Ethan just like, I'm feeling 22. Um, and we love New York as a family. <laughs> It was the last holiday we went on before, uh, uh, probably the only holiday we'll have gone on this year. So we love, love New York. Um, so we've been watching this. Plan for the day is... Nothing. Sum it up. Plan, plan for the day is I think maybe a walk. Maybe. He's like, I ain't going for a walk. No way. Yesterday, Erin and I, um, and Ethan and Dad, we watched Avatar. Ethan, what did you think of Avatar? But you wouldn't sit through it properly. You find it, you would just run around. Erin? <laughs> I, I sat through it properly. I give it a five out of five. Five out of five. Erin, and, and it is a long, Avatar is a long film but it just reminds us of pandora didn't it mm -hmm. i'll talk talk to you a lot about disney a bit later on yeah reminded us of pandora and we do we do miss it and it was i've seen it a few times and i, I never anticipated that erin would sit through at it the, at, at the end of it how it does these people like just be like and then then, then uh, it just feeling just like um, so you don't need to sit now because he's told you the end the people just <laughs> fly around and then someone goes, yeah. oh, like uh, that. Uh. <laughs> um, uh, Steve says there's an Avatar 2 coming out next year. Um, and I'm it was one of the most favourite. Oh, and Ethan, it's one of the, it was one of the most, I think it was the best film, one of the best films ever. Yeah, evidently, sure. Stephen Googled, now it's third. You're getting all the information. It's on Disney Plus, I've said it again, I've said it before. If you're on half term, I just get Disney Plus free for a week and watch as much as you can because I know some of you might be struggling to afford it. I got it in my offer when it was, if you bought it for a year, you got two months free or something, but I'm not sure what offer's on now. So there we go. So I'm gonna continue watching Million Dollar Listing <laughs> with my babies uh, whilst daddy sleeps. I think he, he usually gets about half eight. So he went to bed, we went to bed at 10 last night, so about 10 and a half hours. Time. Come here then. Because Ethan's gonna tell us why Daddy gets up at the exact time every day. Yeah, right. He has a watch and then he just goes to sleep and then whenever he just looks at his watch and then it, and then it just says well, time to wake up. Oh, you think he puts a timer on his watch to wake up? Yeah, yeah. Because um, I said to I, Daddy, I looked on Daddy's watch. And then it said, time to wake up. So I said, Daddy, time to wake up. And then he went out. Oh, oh, oh hang on, here we go. He might wake up a bit 
later to the day because you won't hear the scent of the cinnamon roll. You won't hear the scent of cinnamon So on a Saturday, mm -hmm. if you it's follow me on Instagram, and you really should follow me on Instagram because... It's great. On a Saturday, we do cinnamon rolls or pastries, and Daddy always manages to wake up just as I pull them out of the oven. But we're not having them today, we just have them cereal. <laughs> not quite as exciting, is it? Because it's Monday, not Saturday. Because it's Monday, not Saturday. Right, I'm going to get back to watching Million Dollar Listing, Dream Morning, Dream Family, and Stephen Sweet Dreaming. Hello, oh, for the of the day. I'm going to go out for a quick little walk. I have got on, um, if you look on ASOS for like front pleated skirts, they have loads of different skirts in this really nice stretchy jersey material. So I've got one of them on. I've got a, my, just, I love my salt waters, all of them. And then this ASOS bag that I bought in the Christmas sale. Excited for the fact that I'll be able to wear it in the summer. And just a black t-shirt and I'm not going to wear any makeup. I'm, 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 I'm rarely wearing makeup. I've got a bit of foundation on. Uh, but that's all I'm kind of wearing at the moment. I don't tend to... Come on, focus. Focus on me. There we go. I don't tend to wear much makeup on the day today. I've only got foundation on because I've got to do some work later. Look how white my blonde my hair is. I'm like an angel. Yeah, uh, uh, because I'm wearing sunglasses, so my skin's looking nice. My hair, however, has gone since even this cut. It's gone quite thick. Maybe it's because it's really blunt. But yeah, these I will leave a link below to see if they've still got some on. But these skirts are great. Um, you know, if for a little. For a little walkie or just anything, really. Right, let's go. Had a lovely walk. I just thought I'd come up here. <laughs> Worst angle ever. Had a lovely, lovely walk. Um, the kids are playing Minecraft. And Stephen is doing something in the garden that he has to do. Um, and I was like, gonna go upstairs i've been listening to the louis three podcast and there's one with rose mcgowan hands up who remembers her from charmed on so i thought i'd come up here and listen to that and chat to you and um, before we have lunch and fun in the garden i look a bit brown also got a lot of bronze on so we cancelled our disney holiday i want to say thursday so on thursday because we went we were with tui not with virgin we were with tui because it flies from Birmingham, so we're with Chewie, um, flying from Birmingham, and we were, well, I mean, and I, whether it's cancelled or, or to change it, because if you change it, it would cost £200, and I think that, I could be wrong, but I do think that in England, we might be flying to Florida at the end of August, I think the parks are open, but for us, I just didn't want to go. And for me, it's not so much thinking about coronavirus, really. Um, it's more the issue of, um, like, face masks. And I've been watching Disney Food Blog, which is a great Instagram account. They've been reporting, like, um, Universal Studios with face masks. And Disney Springs with my face mask. And I think that Ethan, in that insane heat with a face mask on, would really, really, really struggle. Um, so we took the decision when the email came through and said look you can amend your holiday for free now we're like right okay so we are gonna go um next easter um we had booked a deluxe hotel so we were actually gonna stay in animal kingdom lodge and we had booked all i booked all the meals it was all planned like we booked so many fun meals um, and now, for the same cost, we are now not not, a, not as it looks, not the middle. We're now back, back at one of the bottom hotels, which is still brilliant. It's still Disney. It's still a lot of money. So I'm, I ain't moaning. In fact, we're very excited. Um, but yeah, that's a shame um, because we were like, look, Animal Kingdom. We'd never said it looks proper, did it before? It was like, oh. But uh, it just to change it to Easter because there's no free Disney dining at Easter. Well, there's no free Disney dining at all at the moment. Um, to stay in the looks on would have been like just a bit, a bit too much for us. So, do you know what? We have our health. 
we're happy. Um, I know loads of you will have had holidays cancelled and stuff. Um, but that's why we decided. I have had a few messages of people who are saying, oh, we think of still going in August. Yeah, you go ahead. Like, have the best time. I just know that my boy, he would not have coped. Um, also, in other Disney news, I have now got a Disney Instagram, which I shall leave below. I've got a Disney Pinterest board. Um, Pinterest account, which I'll also leave below with loads of tips on that I'm working on. So, for the next year, I find, I find this time on lockdown difficult because... Um, I love being with my kids and I'm really really lucky and I'm not a key worker and I'm very privileged but it, I didn't ever want to be a full-time stay-at-home mom like some people do it and they're amazing at it and it's so difficult I always wanted to part-time work and um, be able to do the school runs and stuff like that and obviously I've been looking after the kids now for on my own um, for nine weeks I'm gonna come somewhere where I can sit and I can put you down on my own now I mean obviously I have Stephen's help obviously I have Stephen's help like I'm not like in the tough position I mean how people who are single mums do it I do not know um but I what was I saying I've been like homeschooling and trying to work now for I think this is 10 weeks 9 weeks 10 weeks and we're definitely going to be doing it for another three months it does not look like where the kids go to school that they will be going back at any time soon I will keep you posted but so far it's not looking likely and um I'm just struggling to work I don't even know where my train of thoughts go that's how fuzzled my brain is so what I'm saying is over the next year I really want to build on my Disney blog and I want to get a position to a position where it's a really great site with loads of information I've got my Instagram accounts so there's going to be like funny memes there's going to be votes there's going to be discussions there's going to be general Disney chit chat I will still post some stuff Disney stuff on my Brummy Mummy account but just not as much because I was aware that I have like a lot of followers on my Brummy Mummy have two Instagram account and not all of them are Disney fans so I didn't want to like miff them off putting Disney stuff sometimes I just I don't know sometimes I feel like I'm a bit of a nerdy geeky weirdo do any of you ever feel like that this is just a, the rantings of a worm and I was putting stuff on there like here are my 50 Jack Skellington mugs and people are like we don't care you're strange so I thought I'd create an Instagram account where people can just follow the strangeness and they know the strangeness is there i have no idea what this chat was about apart from to tell you that i've cancelled the disney holiday i'm working on the disney blog i'm struggling homeschool and working from home a lot so i'm hoping we get a handle on that in coming weeks because it's quite overwhelming to work and still have the kids for 12 weeks i would love to know how you do it in the in the comments Obviously, if you're a key worker, it's completely different. But if you're working from home, let me know. Uh, what else is I going to say? And we have, maybe foolishly, but we've done it. We have booked a cheeky Disneyland Paris break, paid the deposit, so I've not paid it in full, for the end of October. Will it happen? I don't know. May I lose the deposit? possibly but we don't have to pay the full amount until the end of august so we've got a while before we have to pay the full full stuff but that's what's going on with us that's what we've got plans we've not got nowhere else to go we've got nowhere else to go can you see i'm slowly losing it no florida for us but as i say it could be so much worse and for people who have like cancelled weddings and all that like, oh god it must be terrible okay right i'm gonna listen to this podcast it's louis through really good podcasts they're quite i'd say they're quite serious i usually podcast flow really easily and some and sometimes his podcast and i love louis through number one fan is a little bit more more like an interview like watching an interview on the telly than a than i would say than a podcast but it's still brilliant so I'm going to listen to that and then wait for Stephen to do his thing and then get my bum in the garden. I've caught a bit of sun there, but my legs are still pasty, pasty white. I've been in the garden. I have got clothes on. I've got my Primark. Oh, I've got some tan lotion as well. 
happened in the garden, um, which was nice. The kids are playing Minecraft. And I just said to Stephen, I'm not such a fan of them playing Minecraft for so long. But then, they have both been out and it's like, oh, where are you, where are you going? Oh, and this one, you won't need that jacket. It's flipping boiling. Um, so I think what I will do, <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs, I think, and do a little bit of work. What are you watching? Oh, they're playing Minecraft, watching Minecraft. Let me know if you play Minecraft or your kids play Minecraft. I've been in the sun too long and I feel a bit hot and got a bit of a headache. You can have an ice long if you want. Have it in the garden. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to put some suntan lotion on. Um, could you ask Daddy to put some suntan lotion on you, please? Oh, you've changed your mind. Okay. Here are the boxes that are for Erin's wardrobe. <laughs> In the shelves. Thanks so much again if you left a comment on my bedroom thing. It's gonna go over there, but Stephen's like really putting it off. He's done a lot of DIY though, so it's all right here. It's you know it's just shoved behind the couch, doesn't matter. Um so that might be done next week or the week after, and then we're gonna take he's not got that much in here really. He's got some shirts. So we'll put some work shirts and then stuff like wedding clothes or like crazy party shirts. A lot of denim shirts will stay down here and then I think what I'll do with the fancy dress is actually put them in the big drawer downstairs because strangers are family. We do go, <laughs> we do wear fancy dress more than is you would imagine. So we need better access to that and that's my wedding dress that will just stop at the bottom. For if one of them want to borrow it, we'll use it or we'll do something with it when, if they ever get married. I don't know what they might want to use it for. Oh God, I've squashed the face of the what creature. Is that? Oh, you know what that is? Squirrel. How do you monitor computers? So before the lockdown, my two didn't ever really play on the computers ever. We didn't just was and wasn't those things that we do. Now they both love Minecraft and they both love Animal Crossing. With Animal Crossing, with Animal Crossing we have to develop a time. So Ethan has it at this time and then Erin has it. But you have, you want to have it around eight o'clock in the morning. Hi Munch. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have it around eight o'clock in the morning because that's when the shop opens. But then at nine o'clock the clothes shop opens. So you want it around the house just like, so, oh. <coughs> Sneasel. So, um, we've had to like come up with some sort of system about that. But they do love the Minecraft. So let me know any Minecraft tips or anything Ooh. down below. You love it, don't you? They play it with Daddy. They play it on. Erin got a laptop for Christmas. Ethan plays it on Daddy's work laptop because he's got two. And then Daddy plays it on his phone. They all play it together. And I don't play it. And I don't know what they're talking about most of the time. I can't believe I had some tan lotion on. Maybe I need to check that it's in date because you know I'm not great with stuff like that. Work done for a little bit. Um, well, I don't, I've got just got a piece of paper that fell out of my computer that just says, what is Disney bounding? What is it? What a philosophical question. That's an idea <laughs> for a blog post. What is Disney bounding? I'm gonna write about. Um, I also went and sat, when, so you know I left you, I was sat on Erin's bed, and then Erin just said, oh, God, I said, oh, I feel a bit funny, and Erin said, just have a little lie down. I woke up half an hour later, with my, my ear thing pods like rammed in my head, listening to a podcast with Louis Theroux and Lenny Henry, it scared the bejesus out of me. So I'm going to go downstairs now with the fam alarm, grab my sunglasses and have dinner in the garden. I think that we're gonna have pizza for dinner. So that'd be nice. Uh, and then I'm gonna try not to do any work tonight. It's really difficult though, because like, when else can you do it? God, I'm bloody moaning today, aren't I? I've been bloody moaning. Um, so that's the plan. The hair 
dye that I bought, that I dyed my hair in a couple of weeks ago, has to have been my favourite colour. I've dyed it in years. And it was one Stephen chose, along with the pink. Shall I take you downstairs so I can show it again? <laughs> my legs have gone all funny because I've been sat on the bed working. Ooh, uh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. That's a very windy effect. Right. I'm aware. Again. I look like I'm naked, but again, I'm not. Okay. It is, just to remind you again, because it was in a buy one, get one, I don't know, buy one, get one some money off. This one. And I'm actually going to take a photo of it so I don't forget. Um, Ultralight Cool Summer Blonde. So I'm going to take a that, and that's SB2. And I'm going to take a photo of that one and make sure. Now I'm wondering if he bought two different ones. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look at both the video. There's me again. It's my favourite, and he's bought two different ones, maybe to hedge his bets. Right, it's very dark. I'm going to go down. Oh, I had to vlog. I've got my camera, and I've got to vlog this. Stephen has been very cute. He said, I'm going to make a pizza hut. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> Look what you were doing then, Ethan. He's putting an Iron Man in the cucumbers. Yeah, Stephen's yeah. like, I'm going to make us a pizza hut buffet. So we've got, yeah, well, don't yeah. do that gorgeous. We've got pasta, garlic bread, pizza, some chips salad, some cheese, bit. chips are coming. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. We've got our dips, haven't we? We've got smarter sauce and mayonnaise. So cute. We got so we're going to have a little. Iron Man. Also, we've got Iron Man, which is essential every pizza hut buffet. Ah. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, did I crush your little fingers? Sorry. Um, so that's very sweet. Um, right, guys, you're going to tuck in then? Yeah. You get some pasta. There's knives and forks underneath as well. Oh, Ooh. no. One of the pastas is getting. Well, I can't do this and do this. That was lovely. Carb overload. Um, some flower update you, you might have seen on my Insta stories that we have been growing some. Why do they. They look like weeds, don't you think? They're sunflowers. Yeah. They are sunflowers. I think one has passed away, Stephen. We've got some big tubs to transfer them. This one seems to be uh, not doing great. Leave any sunflower tips in the comments, guys. Um, oh, Stephen has watered them, so they're a bit wet. So we're going to transfer them over to these. And maybe just have them in a row and see who survives. Oh, they don't look like sunflowers, do they? They look like... I don't know, they look like weeds, but then I don't think I've ever grown a sunflower, so I don't really know what they look like. I don't know, but we grew these from seeds in the kitchen. We put them in, like, yoghurt pots, and then we put them in here, and then we're going to put them in there. Maybe I might get Stephen to do that tomorrow afternoon um, while I try and do some work. It'll give him a half-hour respite. Um... Have any of you managed to see any of your family? I know some of you live in Wales or um, Scotland and Ireland, so won't have done yet. Uh, I am um, seeing the odd person, my friend Sarah. Um, I saw her last week. I'm going to go and see Rachel tomorrow. I just text her saying, should we have a, a constitutional? Go for a little walk at the end of the day. Um, so that'll be nice. But Stephen just said that hopefully, I'm trying to get away with the sun everywhere, I'll get the sun. Hopefully soon that we'll be able to meet in houses and stuff, or garden parties. And one of the first things I intend to do is have a garden party here for mine and Stephen's family combined. That is the plan. We had one last year and it was so lovely and I want to have one again. We're going to have all the pims, we're going to have celebration and we'll raise a drink to Nanny Joyce we never obviously got to have a wake or anything so that'd be nice we're gonna see if the crest has grown the crest by the come on Lucy Lucy hang go stop there oh, oh. oh. <laughs> she's happy are you happy she's had a dinner she stinks oh, there you go she's had a dinner and some cheese oh so we had um you will also have seen an Instagram so I'm gonna put an... we had a massive nest in this tree okay and then it fell down right and we left it 
three days to see because it said leave it there was nothing in it there was no eggs in it leave it because the birds might use the remnants and make a new nest but they never picked up anything however i've just come here and there's loads more twigs on the floor again so i don't know if they're building another one somewhere or something maybe i don't know but these weren't there see look there's loads of twigs there it was a magpie we think loads of twigs and these weren't here the other day because Stephen actually um, mowed the lawn so maybe they're starting round two I don't know how birds nests work kids on the trampoline killing each other standard standard garden behaviour so yeah I'll keep you posted on that but I'm going to leave it here and see what happens oh, what day is it today Monday we'll leave it to Wednesday and see if they move it or if they, I don't know. There was another, we did see another nest somewhere at the top. Let's see if we can go back and if I can see it. I can't see it now. It's very mysterious, but the magpie's nest, I can't see it anymore. It was right at the top. The mag, it was absolutely huge, but yeah, very strange. So there we go. Just a little homey vlog for you here. A homey chatty vlog. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about because I'm kind of running out of stuff to do because we're just in the home all the time. So I don't really know if there's maybe any homeschooling ideas or activities or you just like me chatting about. <laughs> you having fun? You having fun? All the cherries on the cherry tree go, you having fun? Oh, your hair's gone static. Oh no, won't show you what they're doing because they're trumping. They're saying let it go and doing a trim. Um, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you're staying safe and just checking I'm in focus. I hope you're staying safe and you know, let me know if you're in a different country and any of your rules have changed and I will be back in a few days with another video, with another vlog um, and more burdensome flowers. God, I bet you like that. Oh, Emma, I shan't sleep. I can't sleep until you, until you tell us about those birds and some flowers. I love you lots, guys. See you soon.